So, um, good morning. This morning I am going to take on a journey, a journey that started for me in 2010 when I started working on the Drizzle project. For those who don't know, Drizzle is a microkernel fork of MySQL. Um, a lot of the core functionality has been replaced with um, loads of modules. Uh, and Drizzle is easily the most tested version of MySQL that has ever existed. Uh, back in spring 2010, Drizzle had 30 to 40 active developers in any given month. Six to eight of those were core developers. We had uh, a bunch of different testing platforms, a bunch of different tests. We even did performance regression tests on everything. To get code into Drizzle, it was the same uh, process, whether you were a university student or whether you were a core developer. The code gets committed to launch pads, uh, reviewer reviews the code, Jenkins tests the code using the test described previously, and a merge manager merges the code. And this is all working out great for me until uh, around 2011, three things happened at once. First, the GA of Drizzle was released. Secondly, the entire Drizzle core development team got disbanded. And thirdly, I had to give six hours of talks on Drizzle at the MySQL conference. So the result was my hair fell out. Um, <laughs> I went and worked for the database company for a short while and then got hired uh, by HP Clouds to work on OpenStack. OpenStack is a cloud operating system made of many different modules. And we have many platinum and gold foundation members that make up the development team of OpenStack. Uh, Folsom has just been released. It's a six month uh, release cycle. Uh, we had 14 core projects in Folsom, 300 active developers, 3,110 contributions from 132 different companies. Our Jenkins server has 300 job configurations for over 70 projects and tasks, and so not just uh, testing code and um, uploading tarballs, but things like spinning up new servers to actually test the code on. The process is very similar to get code in as it was for Drizzle put the code in, but we've got this new block here called Garrett. Garrett is a system created by Google for their Android project. Um, it's a Git repository and a code review system. Uh, it's, yeah, um, and now uh, everything is now automated. Um, the only human in, uh, interaction is uploading the code and actually approving the code. This is all working great, but uh, we had a couple of problems. Uh, first of all, there were 300 tests in Jenkins, so if we needed to make a change to a bunch of these tests, we found that we missed one or two, and then during a release cycle, we found that we couldn't actually release the product properly. So the first solution to this was the Jenkins Job Builder. It uses building blocks of easy-to-read YAML. It, it generates the Jenkins XML from this, and the Jenkins XML is then uploaded up to uh, the Jenkins server. This means as well, does uh, making it easier to edit, we can have uh, the building, uh, we can just make a tiny edit to a building block and all the um, related jobs are automatically updated. And this also means now we can have a common set of job templates. So every project in OpenStack now uses the same job templates to run every single job, um, testing job and uploading job. The second problem we had was with the Nova compute engine. The tests for Nova were taking about 40 minutes to run, which means in a 24-hour period, we can run 36 batch of tests because everything has to be merged serially. The problem with um, this is we were hitting nearly 36 in a 24-hour period. So we came up with Zool, the gatekeeper. Zool, the gatekeeper, runs everything in parallel using a speculative merge system. So in this example, we have job A, job B, and job C. All three are going to be run in parallel. Job B will temporarily merge with job A, and job C will temporarily merge with job B and job A to run the tests. If job B fails, then job C will be cancelled and rerun with a merge of job A. Then Zool now fits in between Garrett and Jenkins. So it reads the Garrett stream, uh, runs the tests on Jenkins, gets the test results back from Jenkins, and reports back to Garrett. So this made life so much easier. Okay, um, that's it for me. Um, we are hiring. Um, if you're interested, have a look at hp.cloud/jobs. Contact me on Freenode, or my email address is andrew.hutchings@hp.com. Thank you.